That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to start with Pizza Tower. Last night, while I was Pizza Towering, I got very tired. And I decided, um... It, it was not the best Pizza Tower gameplay. I'm a little less tired. So now people can say, Vinny, when's Pizza Tower? And I can say, now. Yet again. Speaking of aliens, will you stream Voices of the Void someday? I don't know, I kind of feel like I would get really bored playing it. I don't know how Joel has patience. Like, if I'm ever looking for a podcast game, sure. But I don't- I don't know if, uh... I don't know if it's for me. Cause I- I'm also kind of afraid of aliens, but not the same way Joel is. Like, I guess I used to be when I was young. And now I'm- I like them. I'm also a little bit afraid of them, cause they're fucking weird. But, um, I feel like it would just end up being a lot of me complaining that nothing's happening, and I, I don't want to subject my viewers to that. Chad, I did all the levels here, right? I think we can... Yeah, we can move on to the next floor. So this is Slum. Pig City. <laughs> this is where you get the good pizza. <laughs> Swine Street. Chat, is this just, a, like, a friendly NPC that doesn't actually want to hurt us? What the hell? Oh, this is an amazing level theme. I don't know what that was. Whoa, 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 what is this? Hogtide? Turn around? Oh, I see, okay. Chat, did you ever see that one person play Cuphead? It's just unrelated. Okay, so wait, I took a taxi to this part of town, and now I'm done here. Oh, okay. Vinny, I've watched two girls play Cuphead. Chat member, I don't think you were watching the right thing. Someone said, Vinny, have you seen the new Ant-Man? You know what? I like Ant-Man. Clearly, we have an emote. Like, I've seen the Ant-Man movie once each, but I have not had any desire to watch a new Marvel movie in quite a while. Like, like I said, 
Doctor Strange was fine. It was it was okay, and Spider Man was good. And uh, I, for some reason, that was pretty much it. I think I'm good on Marvel for a while. I'll wait until Ant Man is just like on TV one day, and like I'm like home from the dentist or something. I'll probably watch it then. But no, I haven't seen it yet. Holy fuck, streamer has an opinion. Fucking God, he's so based. Jesus Christ, says a uh, chat member. <laughs> and then they also said, I'm only interested in the next Guardians of the Galaxy. Sure. Yeah, I would- I would watch that in the- in the theater, perhaps. If it ended up being good and not- and not, in fact, poop. Someone said, I don't like the fact that you have to watch another 30 bad shows to understand a new movie. Yeah, that's, um... That's something that is a very popular opinion, and not, in fact, an unpopular opinion. But it's true. Loki was good though. Was it, Dave? Because, you know, I thought it started strong. That's the thing, I was really invested. And then the same shit that happened with WandaVision happened to Loki for me, which is by the end of it, there were just a number of things that just didn't quite work for me. It is a personal opinion. You know, I'm not trying to speak for everyone here, but... It had a couple really cool things that I don't think it really... It, it didn't, like, live up to the premise for me. And that was, like... I think that was the last Marvel show I watched. I know, I watched, like, two episodes of Hawkeye. And, um... Maybe three? And once again, I just... For some reason, stopped caring pretty quickly. And, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't really also feel like I want to watch... All these shows. God damn it. Thoughts on Modok butt naked? Chat member, what... What are you talking about? I don't even know who Modok is. God damn it. There we go. That, that's a character in the new Ant-Man film. From Marvel Disney. Okay. Are you gonna do a review of the Brooklyn Plumbers movie when it comes out? I actually will. I actually will do a review of that. Like, in the way that I usually would do something, which is just talk about it for a little bit. So if that's a review, then I'm cool with that. How often do you go to the movies by yourself? Last year I did about five times, but mostly to see classic movies. Because a lot of my uh, favorite movies, and some I haven't seen, like um, Mad Max 2, were in the theatres, and so I saw that. But I saw that one with my friend, Tyler. Um, I saw... What movie was it? Escape from New York I saw alone. I saw Spider-Man alone. I just haven't really had any movies that I've been interested in enough to go to the theater. Like, I saw Top Gun alone. So, yeah, I mean a couple here and there. Reoccurring character Tyler. That's right. That's right. This is all a TV show. Vinny, when's the next season? It's 
Someone said, I saw Halloween in theaters. It was awesome. I saw the original Halloween in theaters one time. I saw, you know what's funny? I saw Alien for the very first time at a theater with, I think, um, Mike? It might have been Mike or it might have been a couple other, uh, you know what? It might not have been Mike. I forget. But I saw Alien for the very first time in its re-release. Probably like 20 years ago. So that was, that was really good. That was a great movie-going experience to see that in the theater for the first time. There's a secret above the taxi in this room. Roger. Speaking of Roger, the, the this is um, now a stream of Vinny's interests. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of boring for some people, but such is life. Yeah, Roger Waters and David Gilmour hate each other again. Except Roger just, like, defended David because someone said his guitar solos were boring. Like some, like, rag. Like newspaper. But Roger, I don't know... Listen, I don't know everything Roger said. I don't know his politics. But the guy needs to, sh like, stop talking. Like, he's... <laughs> he really just keeps digging himself into deeper and deeper holes. I've always been more of a Gilmore guy, anyway. Oh, I missed the Easter egg. Sorry, guys. I, I tried. It just... It got me into the thing. It got me into the, the taxi. Would you say you're a Gilmore girl? <laughs> uh... Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't know you could do that. I guess I can't really do anything with that just yet. What secret did I miss? Bacon room? Oh. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back to that. One of the reasons uh, I brought up Roger Waters is actually the, the pigs in the background flying around. <laughs> Oh, fuck. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I really hate seeing them fight. Like, because they had so many... But, I mean, Roger, again, says dumb shit. Even if... You know, I don't really believe a headline is 100% what the dude is saying. Like, I'm willing to hear him out, even if I don't agree with him at all on a lot of stuff. It's just... He just needs to stop. And, like, the ego, still, to this day, it's like, God, dude, stop. Uh, but anyway. Who's Roger? Eh, don't worry about it. I think Gilmore's got a new album coming out at some point, though. And he may... I, I, this is just the... I mean, he's old. He's in his 70s. But I would see him if he came around again. Still, to this day, one of the best concerts I've ever been to. So, I would, I would see him. Even at this age, I would see him live. Someone said my imaginary kid was... My, whoa, what, whoa, my imaginary friend as a kid was named Roger. Imaginary kid named Finger.
Chad, have you seen, well, I, I say chat as if anyone here is all interested in Pink Floyd the same way I am, but, um, it, hang on a second. It's, it's getting, I want to show you something funny. Hang on. Just, just one, one more Pink Floyd thing. I think even non-Pink Floyd fans will get a kick out of this because this is how Roger Waters is, is advertising himself right now. I need you to see this. Okay. Roger Waters, who created the golden years of Pink Floyd, the dark side of the moon, wish you were here, animals, the wall, and the final cut, what? Is on his first ever farewell tour. There's so much to unpack here. Listen, I like the final cut too, but the way he's advertising himself is just infuriating. That and the fact that you can have a first ever farewell tour is astounding. There's gotta be, like I said last time I brought this up, that that has to be a joke. That has to be like a tongue-in-cheek, like, joke. He wasn't even the band's lead for Wish You Were Here. Well... No, not really. Not Well, lyrically he was, but musically that was all Rick and Dave. Well, not all, but it, a good chunk of it. Without them, that album would not exist. If that's not a joke, that's sad. Yeah, I... I I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Just dumb. Really dumb. Imagine McCartney goes on tour, creator of the golden years of the Beatles. Sergeant Peppers. Abbey Road. Like, dude, you don't even... You don't even need to say that. <laughs> you don't need to say any of that. Imagine if Ringo did it. Ringo Starr is on his first ever final farewell tour. Creator of the golden years of the Be of the Beatles. Octopus's Garden. And that's it. That's all it, <laughs> that's all it says. Oh man, why does my rat keep getting arrested? <laughs> I think that's kind of funny, considering how many final tours bands have. Yeah, the Eagles did their final farewell tour 20 years ago, and then did, like, 10 more. Maybe it's a joke? It, it could be. Like I said, I don't- I don't know. It's like that Jesus Christ game, I just don't know. more like farewell to your money. Yeah, I know, with ticket prices these days. The 2022 Revine video was so good. Props to the editor. Yeah, Titania did that. Seriously. Titania is an excellent editor. And does really good work with the, the video crew, and I, I appreciate it so much, so thank you, Titania. And, yeah, the video is good. I actually... I watched it myself. I did. Pretty unhinged year, I would say. A lot, lot of, um... Chat. The Among Us... The stuff that we did as a group with, like, Germa, was that this year? That, was that this year? That was this year? That was 2022? Was that in the video? That was the end of last year? That wasn't in the video? Okay, well maybe that'll be in the best of 2023 then. That would have taken up the whole video. Yeah, I was. that was the one thing. That was this month? No, no, no. I've done some other Among Us's recently, but... He's shrimp fresh. That was January? No way. Wait, was that December? 
Hang on a second. Germa Among Us Vinny VR. Um. Yeah, that was like November 11th. I'm surprised that didn't end up being in the in the video. Maybe next year. Shit happens. Who's this? Some hog watching TV. Chat, I have to concentrate here. to that guy. Yeah, shit! Ah, <laughs> uh, no secrets. Uh, I missed the pepperoni room chat. Hey, where do I use the janitor? Does anyone know? Did I pass it? You, you missed it at the jail cell. Fuck, there's no reset like Wario, right? Damn it. Someone said, further proof that Wario Land Shake It is better than this. The only thing in Wario Land Shake It that's better than this, in my opinion, is Wario's fat fucking dumpy. One second, chat. I just gotta ban a couple chat members. No, I'm kidding. I'm just just give me a second here. No one's getting banned. Wireless. There's a hoot wireless. Wireless. I don't know why I said that like that. That was weird. Just to uh just to make up for the time lost. Oh wait, was I not supposed to kill him? Oh yeah, that's right, chat told me that last time. Am I playing this game wrong? Is this gonna be like the other game? You know, the one where if you play it wrong, you, you actually like die? There's a way to bring him back. How do you bring him back, chat? Do I have to load a game save, maybe? <laughs> Gotta go in the files? Ah! Oh. oh, he really is gone forever. I don't know how to get rid of this rat. 
Oh, oh, I know how to get rid of the rat. Oh my god. This wretched gameplay. Someone said, I am actually a bit peeved at streamers nowadays. They never seem to actually retain anything, much like a goldfish. Or think about stuff. Yes, I do not think about stuff. Yes, yes, yes. I like how they said nowadays, as if this hasn't always been a problem in my life. Hmm. Yes, I tend to agree with the chat member. These streamers tend to have very goldfishy type memory. Chat member, I would like to... I'll... okay. I, I understand your complaints. I do tend to be frustrating to watch. I've admitted this several times. I'm, I'm okay with that. But I want you to understand one thing. Genuinely understand one thing. And, uh, apologies if my streams are frustrating to watch. Oh, what? see that? That's frustrating. But keep in mind, when the stream turns off, I actually have to live the other 18 hours of my life. Like, it's not like a TV show where it actually picks up, you know, when the next episode. Like, I, I actually have many other things that enter my brain and and other games that I play where my my memory just goes that and when I stream I'm also interacting with the chat which is my other excuse which uh, which which also tends to you know it's like sensory overload in some ways like it's a lot to keep up with so But I understand also that this chat member said streamers. Not Vinny specifically, streamers. Which makes me feel a little bit better about myself, at least. But I tend to think about stuff, sometimes too much. But, uh, I, I don't... Yeah, I guess part of the problem is I don't think enough about it while I'm actually live. That just does that. Okay. Vinny, do you ever wonder which eye is your dominant eye? I... Uh, no thoughts had empty. Hang on, I do actually have a thought on that. It's my right eye, because, um, I have... D well, most people do, if I'm not mistaken, but... The vision difference between my left and right eye is... Enough to make me use my right eye more. I know we're looping, but I can do this. I swear I can do this. Just give me a second here. 
Wait, how do you... Chat, how do you, uh... I guess I could just do that, no? Alright, I'll just jump. You have to dive? That's... better. Is this game trying to now make a statement against, like, pizza automation? Because you know that is happening, right, chat? Like, you are aware of pizza automation. There are genuinely pizza machines that just make it a pizza. I think they're... They might be in some, like, college campuses, but they also, I think, are mainly in Japan. And it's just a machine. There's sauce. There's cheese. There's dough. You type what toppings you want, or you, you press the buttons, and it makes it for you in-machine. There's no soul. I, I tend to agree. I think pizza actually needs soul. That's why Defara is, is not as good without Dom. Jafaraz is generally considered to be one of the best pizza places in the world, and on occasion, I would agree. The, the times I've got it, where Dom was making it, who was in his 80s at the time, it was amazing. And then the times I've got it when it was, you know, oh god damn it! No! That was old man spice? Yeah, I was gonna make a joke about that too. But yeah, it just wasn't as good. Without him. I don't make it a pizza. I am it a pizza. Chat, what the fuck is this? He's in the background? That looks like a foreground element. I mean, he's stamping the pizza in the background, but he's, he's also... Oh, oh, that's the machine to turn you into the pizza. Just in case you lose it. I see. God damn it. No! Oh god, this is gonna be miserable, isn't it? Okay, maybe not that miserable.
Oh god! <laughs> Oh god, you have hurt Pepino many times. Did I miss the janitor thing? Up. Okay, I'm gonna try to get up. And try. Keyword operating word try here. Go. Yes, got it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, it's a glitz! I did it, chat. Oh, by the way, I got a little song someone made for the stream. Wild is wild. Made by Japanese coffee. I need who It's actually pretty good. I want soul food now. This guy's a marketing genius. You just gotta drill the shit into people's heads. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost over. I can't believe this is in Pizza Tower. It's not. I need who? Well, if you need the link to this, I can share it. All right. That was awesome. Thank you, Japanese Coffee, for that. Um, the chat member from before who said uh, they were upset with streamers having goldfish memory <laughs> said, I want to say I'm sorry, even if I did mean what I said. It shouldn't be that negative on stream. It just brings everything down a bit. Well, they meant everything they said, chat. Chat member, you're allowed to critique me, and I'm allowed to not give a shit. But I also think, you know, I have reasons. They may not be the best reasons. Um, and you're allowed to, you know, you're allowed to type that. I'm allowed to not read it. I just happen to read it.
Is this shit? But anyway, thanks, chat member. Hope you have a good day. You got new clothes. Wait, I just got poop clothing? That's... Vinny, did you miss the level name? I did, I was reading chat. What was the level name? It's just called Oh Shit. Game not for kids confirmed. Shit word bad. Oh. Oh. Colonel. Wait, 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 wait. Which way is the way to, uh, this is probably the way. Pretty great guitar solo stuff going on here. Oh, okay, that's blocked off. Much like if you, uh... You know, if you're constipated. Similar. Someone said go back? W w uh, where? Why? No? Chat, do you find it a little surprising that there isn't a Mario game launching? the same time as the Mario movie. Like, they announced a Nintendo Direct. Um, for a trailer, for the last trailer of the Mario movie before release. It's been a while since we had a mainline Mar um, Mario entry, so... I mean, I'm not... I'm not saying Nintendo should just, like, make a game to promote a movie. They should have, you know what they should have done? Just released Galaxy 2 on the Switch. Alongside Galaxy 1, as like a permanent, you can just buy this together for 40 bucks. As an apology for the 3D collection. The 3D All-Stars. No, they wouldn't do that. I mean, somehow Metroid was 40 bucks, which makes no sense, but... Nintendo doesn't have a lot of faith in Metroid. So I guess it makes some sense. Also, the physical copy of uh, Metroid Prime Remastered is apparently... like, really scarce at the moment. I haven't tried to get one yet, but I, I really want one. Like I said, so I can let my friend borrow it and then I can just have it on my shelf. Did you see the reversible cover art is the Japanese GameCube cover? I saw that, looks good too. Who's, what was that pizza wizard? Man. That could be like a pizza restaurant named Pizza Wizard. I think I missed some stuff, chat. Pretty sure I missed some stuff.
look up there. Pizza face eats pizza? What, what do you mean? Oh, the red guy? I thought this was the red guy from, um... Oh! You know what that looks like to me for a minute? The, the, the red devil dude with the butt from Cow and Chicken. No, I don't, I don't... Is that the Lennon stride? It's the funny walk? Oh, okay. Wow, I can't fucking avoid getting hit by them. A little pepperoni secret there. Accidental secret discovered. Copyright green pipes. The forbidden pipes. Uh, once again, if anyone's wondering why I'm live on a Wednesday, it's because I wanted to make some progress in this game and uh, enjoy this game and Metroid, because tomorrow I will not be able to play them. Tomorrow I have the uh, charity for the American Heart Association, and that'll be multiplayer. Also, just saying Redbox fans might want to stick around until after the charity, just for a little bit as well. Please note, it's not going to be the full album. Don't get, don't get your, no, don't get your hype to the highest level, because we can go even higher. God damn it. Oh my god, oh my god. Vinny, I haven't been around in a while. What's your streaming schedule like? Well, I say I don't have a schedule, but I tend to do Tuesday and Thursday. The reason I say I don't have a schedule is because that way I don't feel bad about, you know, missing a day if I have shit to do, or if I get sick or something, or I just don't feel up to it. But uh, Tuesday, Thursday for just regular video games and whatever, uh, and Sunday is still Sunday stream. Even though I've done some Sunday streams on Saturday, but, you know, we don't talk about those. Vinny, to be honest, I didn't like Redbox because I wasn't a fan of the style of music, but I fucking love Forgetter. Any recommendations for your music? Mike's drums slap. Um, you'll like the next single, and I think you'll like some of the new album. I think check out, um... Uh... I don't know. I'm not really sure. Do you like oil chat member? Look at this bananas. 
Check out the album Visions. I think there's stuff on there you're, you're probably gonna like if you like Forgetter. Vinny, would you rather be known for your music or your streams? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have a choice in that. That's up, to, you know, up to personal tastes. But um, I'm good with both. I'm good with both. I'm proud of, of both equally. Even if a lot of my streaming is just fecal funny, I'm okay with that too. Chat, how do I get up? How do I destroy the rat? Is it too late to destroy the rat? Oh, no, 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 it's not. I actually have to destroy the rat. I thought that was an optional rat. That's a, that's a mandatory rat. Good. The fuck? Oh, this is just chaos. This is just, like, sewage chaos. You don't like grunge. Um, I, it's not... I wouldn't call Visions grungy. I mean, check out Realign, then. Realign might be more your thing. The album. There's some, like, grunge influence, but I wouldn't say... As hard as I would try to sound like that, I don't- I don't think it would be the same thing. Missed the secret? No, I didn't miss a secret, did I? You missed the secret in the jan- Oh, cool, I missed the janitor room. Okay, cool. Did you hear about Random Access Memories' new re-release? Um, yeah, I did. Pretty cool. Li like, new versions of songs? Like, what is it, like, remixes and unheard shit? Or is it just... Demos? That's cool. Alright. Sorry. Uh, gotta pay attention, once again. This is a really replayable game, though, because a lot of this shit is hard to, like, accomplish on first try anyway. Like, it just moves so quickly. There are moments where chat's like, you missed something. I'm like, I... My eyes did not pick up anything. I need, like, Legolas eyes. But then again, I'm not using my dominant eye, so...
Do you think Red Vox's latest albums have enough unreleased material that could warrant special releases? Chat, I swear I'm not paying these people or telling them to say this stuff. I'm gonna wear the poop outfit. I've talked about this already though, but yes, um, there's like seven songs that didn't make the cut that were recorded that I think are good. I'll tell you what I think we're gonna do. And sometimes I like surprise releases, it's just more fun that way, but I will, I will tell you what my idea is currently. I want to see what the next album looks like, and then see if any of the songs fit that vibe. And then put them on there. And if they don't, they will get a release at some point on a compilation or on an EP. So that's my current theory. It's the freezer. Oh god, it's frozen! You donkey pig! What have you done with the oil? God, it's dripping oil. <gasps> As for, um, you know what? I'll fucking announce it now, I suppose. It's not really an announcement, but, um, if you're- everyone here is asking about Redbox stuff, uh, I'll just say... For the premiere, we're gonna do a Twitch live premiere, and we're looking to do it... I mean, it only makes sense, but we're looking to do it next Thursday... ...at, like, maybe 10, 10.30 Eastern. That's what we're looking to do, and barring any issues with release, or if any band members are, like, just suddenly, like, they come down with scrot rot or something, I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna go live on the Red Vox channel and premiere it PM, not AM, PM. Like 10 PM Eastern. Between 10 and 11 PM Eastern. Chances are I'll be live on this channel before then and I'll talk about it. And I would like to deeply apologize to anyone who does not give a flying fuck about my music. I understand. Trust me. There have been many occasions where someone does a musical project and I'm not interested. That said, I only release an album like once every year or two years, so this is... The, you won't have to hear about this much longer. <laughs> you can talk about what you want on your stream. Well, not everyone feels that way, chat member, but thank you. But I don't really ne necessarily need to cater those to that kind of thing anyway. I just... Just am letting you know, because I feel like... When the album cycle is revving up, I do tend to talk about it more than usual, and... I mean, I'm okay with it, but... You know, just, just a, a little warning. Chat, what do I... You'll destroy that later. Okay. Alright, got it. Well, I'll just say one last thing is, I appreciate people giving it a chance. I don't think it's your usual tuber music, if you'd consider it that. It, it is something I've done before ever streaming. And, um... I know it's a little weird, because it's like, wait, that's the dude that says spin and makes, like, weird, like, jokes about self-suck. And I'm supposed to take him seriously now. But, I mean, yeah, that's... Sometimes people have different, like, sides to them. And, uh... If you've given it a chance, great. If you don't want to, I'm okay with that, too. I'm glad you're here regardless. You know, it's like onions. You know, like layers and stuff. Like, Shrek taught me that.
that's the guy that turns into a duck when he's angry. Yeah. Stuck in here now? Oh, you can do a uh, super jump dash, says the chat member. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that entirely, chat. Nice. Um, someone saw the eye? Someone also was asking, do you think there are... There it is. There are people who, much like there are people who only watch my streams and don't listen to Redbox, are there people that only listen to Redbox and don't watch my streams? I've been told, but Spotify has promoted the fuck out of my music lately. Well, not the algorithm has, rather. And yeah, there are people that have told me, I didn't know that was you. So I think there is, there is some... Uh, yeah, there's some of that. Oh, I see. I see what you have to do here. I think. There we go. There we go! Yes! Alright. It sure feels like I've missed a lot here. Oh, that's just death. Got it. Oh, this put me over here? No! You've heard Pino ten times. Uh, technically, it was the level that did not me. Just here again? What? I don't know. I thought that was a new thing. Wow, I went the wrong way multiple times. That's Im that's impressive. Santa? What do you mean, Santa?
Yeah, I guess Santa is kind of like a lack of two in this game, huh? Can't get Janitor yet? Okay. Now I can get Janitor. Now, now I can't get Janitor. I'm really good at just, like, trying to find secrets in all the wrong places. Please look at the background for the level. I'm looking. I see things. People wanted to know about... Uh, people wanted to know if I like frozen pizza, considering this level is a frozen pizza theme level. And the answer is, um, I talked about it a little bit yesterday, but, uh, not really. Good in a pinch. But, you know, there's so many pizza places, like, all around you when you're in New York. It probably, they're probably fucking everywhere anyway, but... I wouldn't defer to frozen pizza when delivery is so, like, quick and easy. Oh, wow. And there's so much pizza all over the place, but I actually do not have frozen pizza in my freezer right now. has become Anton. Oh! Fucking sick. You know what? They were like, we need a Lakitu. We need a Lakitu like... Creature. And then someone was like, Santa Claus. And then the other person was like, wait, that's not a creature. And then the other person said, yes, yes it is. And then they just put Santa in the game. time. Now we can do this. Chat, how far away is the, um, the spot where I use it? On the path. You should see it on the way. Alright. Well, then again, I am kind of fucking blind sometimes in streamer. Streamer doesn't see properly a lot, as chat likes to say. Which it's, I mean, it's true. <laughs> Let's be real. It's true. I 
I got yeah, you just gotta use your dominant eye. Exactly. Chat, if only you could see what I've seen with your eyes. Yes, good. Okay, well, this is an easy one. Wait, is that an ice cream sandwich? Oh, man. You know what I had, chat? Because I told you I went to the Natural History Museum. I bought astronaut ice cream, ice cream sandwich. It's just like, you know, dry ice cream. It's weird. But it's pretty good. Like, I hadn't had it in many, many years, and I wanted to see if it was still good. It was. Like, way too expensive for how much rehydrated or dehydrated ice cream sandwich you get, but still, still pretty good. You know what the best ice cream sandwich is that I've ever had, chat? The brand? Fat Boy. That's literally the name of it. Free milk. So good. Oh, I forgot to taunt. That's alright. Passed by Fat Boy all the time, but I always thought it was weird. What, the name? <laughs> I mean, I guess I can understand that. Vinny, um, do you know about Glanch Comic for Pizza Tower? I've, you know what? People have been talking about it. I don't really know what that means, <laughs> so I haven't. I have not a, the slightest idea. I know, do you know what Glunch is, though? Do you remember Glunch? I just want to show you Glunch, if you haven't seen. This is Glunch. Questions answered. I'm looking for the uh, boss room. There we go. Oh boy. Who's this angry man? Oh shit, it's Dark Pino. It's like Zelda 2. Oh my god, chat. I love, I love it, I hate it at the same time. 
This is some Metroid shit. Even the music kind of almost reflects that a bit. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this art is deranged. It's so good. Chat, this is insane. Oh, look at him! It's not real! It's like an earthworm gym situation! greedy there. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, hands are sweaty. Knees weak. Holy shit. Heart beating fast. I can't believe I did it. That was one of the hardest bosses in the entire game and you did it first try, how? This is th like one of those things where people say I'm bad at video games and then once in a while, I am somewhat bad at video games, I will admit. But once in a while, something happens and chat's like, I don't understand how Vinny did that. And then neither do I. To be fair, uh, to fun fact, the chase sequence was nerfed twice. Let's see. Alright, well, Chad, I'm actually gonna stop here because... How much is left of this game so I know? Is there, like, one more stream worth, you think? 
three levels. Okay, so then this is a good place to stop. Here's the comic. Pepino and Noise Comics. Italian man, I have a good old bottle of milk for you. Nice uh, glanche. This isn't milk. <laughs> Could be glue. That's an official comic. Yeah, it could be glue. I don't know. Uh, chat. Yeah, next time I play this, I'll do the three levels. We'll do the boss. I don't know if I'll be able to get the... I don't... I mean, do I have enough toppings? I'm not sure if I do. I should be fine. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see. You can redo levels pretty quickly for more. All right. So, chat. Once again, we have played Pizza Tower, and I'm going to be playing some Metroid Prime after this. And it turns out Pizza Tower continues to be good. That last boss fight was pretty amazing. Didn't you think so too, chat? Well, chat, I will say... We'll do a BRB. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. So, uh, do you like crude oil chat? Okay. I'm going to play some music for you and then I'm going to, uh, I'll be back with Metroid prime. I'm going to get everything set up. So I'm going to play a song. It's, uh, called creep. It's, it's from a band that is not Radiohead, and it's a live version. And I think that this is a better creep than Radiohead. Genuinely. And since we've been talking about Rubber Band Man and I played Cracker Man, I wanted, you know what? I've been on a Stone Temple Pilots kick again, especially early STP. I think this is a great song. I'm going to play it. 